There are plenty of special places around the world, all of which can offer unique experiences and friendly people. This film is about Yelibari. Dreams and fantasies. What do you need to feel good, if you could choose? One thing is, of course, a place to live. To find the right place, that is. But everyone has different tastes. It's important, therefore, that there are plenty of alternatives. Maybe a good view, near water, neighbors, no neighbors, a flat, a new house, or why not something from the last century? Another thing is work. What would you like to do? And safety. Maybe it isn't that important for you at the moment, but then again, it might be in the future. Yalevari has a large hospital with many specialized services and a maternity ward. That's safe. If you want to try something different, then you have dozens of alternatives. It's easy to get away. Or come back. Whatever you choose, there are opportunities. Here you'll find the biggest open pit mine in Europe and one of the world's largest underground mines. Yelivari has long industrial traditions. The mining industry today is a high-tech operation with a high-quality reputation worldwide. Both large-scale and small, new products and services are being developed, independent of distance, but very much dependent on creative and skilled people. Global demand for ore is huge right now. Business is booming in Yelivari. In economic terms, billions are being invested here. Yelivari is situated 100 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle surrounded by forests, lakes and mountains. Fresh air and plenty of space. To the west, the wilderness takes over. The municipality has some of the largest national parks in Sweden, which together make up Laponia, the largest world heritage site in Europe. With Dundret, a mountain almost in the middle of town, and Laponia, a few minutes away, there are endless possibilities for an active lifestyle. It's up to you what you want to do.
The first to settle here were the Sami people. From the beginning, a nomadic folk whose livelihood depended on the reindeer, on hunting and fishing. Over the years, they've tracked the reindeer herds back and forth to the mountains and forests. Today, the Sami are no longer nomadic, although their culture is still very much alive. Strong in tradition, yet modern. The Great Iron Ore Era began just over a hundred years ago. People from all around Scandinavia moved here, and the community grew. Just like today, there was a need for railways, services, housing, and entertainment. Factors that created Yelivari, a community in the middle of the wilderness. We are now experiencing the same thing as our forefathers did in the 19th century. The community is expanding, and we need people with all kinds of skills and knowledge. So, what do you need to feel really good? Welcome to Yelivari.